Ravage them! I am thou.
try this. Jim. Satanayo!
Look! Ain't that a treasure? Right, Mona? Thanks for everything, gang. Mona-chan? Mona? Humans have the power to change the world. They just forgot about that a bit. Hey. Thanks to you guys, I was able to complete my duty. Everything was thanks to you. Wasn't it, Morgana? I got to be useful for humans that I admired so much. Nothing could make me happier. This place will soon disappear, too. Time to go home. this. Looks like the rain stopped. Hey guys! What? Uh -huh. Everything. The whole world is a product of cognition, not just the metaverse. It can be freely remade. The same goes for you and everyone else. <laughs> Dude, Mona! Mona -chan. This can't be happening! <laughs> Soon a new world will come. One where mankind isn't held captive. The world will shine brightly as long as you hold hope in your hearts. What's going to happen to you? Remember, there's no such thing as the real world. What each person sees and feels, those are what shape reality. This is what gives the world infinite potential. Even if you feel that only darkness lies ahead, as long as you hold hands together, see it through as one, the world will never end. The world exists within all of you. Exactly as it sounds.
If they get their hands on the perpetrator, there'll be no need for him to turn him- There's no need for the- I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. You! If they get their hands on the perpetrator, there'll be no need for him to turn himself in, no? Don't worry. I'm the real deal. You said, there's no need. Just what do you mean by that? Exactly as it sounds. I'll agree to testify against Shido and his crimes. I assume that works for you? You're overthinking this. I have no hidden agenda at this point. If I had to explain myself, I'd say it's simply personal principle that I repay my debts. For the time being, at least, I'll take your word that you'll cooperate with the investigation. That would save a lot of time. I'm sorry. You can forget everything I just told you. I'll take them in myself. I won't try to claim that everything will turn out perfectly for you, but I would bet this case will reach its natural conclusion. No. In fact, I swear. There you are. It gets so crowded on Christmas Eve. I know this was kind of out of the blue. You sure I'm not stepping on any other plans? What, really? I should have invited you way earlier then. By the way, are you hungry? Maybe we could go grab a bite somewhere? It's Christmas Eve. We should make the most of it. And don't worry about the cost, okay? I'm the working adult here. I'll cover it. Cool. Let's go then. Something wrong? Oh, I see how it is. You're looking to hold hands, huh? No, I get it. Christmas Eve, walking with your sweetheart, hands locked together. It's really sweet. But not this time. You know, someone might see us. Oh, what? Uh, enough with the puppy dog eyes. You're making me feel like a monster. Well, we can't let anyone see us, so just for a little bit, okay? So much for having it covered. You'd think at least one place would have a spot open. Thanks. Even if we can't get dinner, at least there's cake. Can't have Christmas without cake. Hey, that looks like a little cake shop. Let's go check it out. They might be sold out too. Oh, what the hell, I'm just gonna go for it. You never know. Excuse me, do you have any Christmas cakes left? Actually, we do. Yeah, I figured. Wait, what? One of our orders was cancelled last minute. This is the only cake we have. Whoa, seriously? Well, in that case... Yeah, we'd love to buy it. Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. Well, that's a surprise. We really got lucky, huh? Oh my god, you went to all that trouble for little old Becky? Yeah, no, I highly doubt that. 
Anyhow, let's get this miracle cake out of here and go enjoy our evening. This is delicious. I think it's been years since the last time I got to actually enjoy cake. Pretty smooth, but... Those lines don't work the best when you've got cream on your nose. It reminds me you're still the younger one here and how I should be looking out for you as the adult. But somehow, I always end up running to you for help. Honestly, I really don't like that you keep putting yourself in danger. Why does it have to be you? Still, I can't get mad at you for following your heart. It's the only reason I got my life back. So, thank you. Really. And congratulations on everything you've accomplished, too. I owe you a lot. Not just because of the Phantom Thieves' work, but what you've done for me. You helped me remember what I really wanted to do with my life. That's why I got you a little something. Here. It's a pretty good pen case, so it'll be good for school, right? You can carry it with you, and... I thought maybe you could look at it and think of me. Hey, um, thank you for loving me. I mean, I know it doesn't exactly look good. A teacher and a student shouldn't have a relationship like ours. But this... this is the happiest I've ever been. Uh, that's enough serious stuff for one night. Let's get to the fun part. Oh, yikes. I was wondering what that was. It's really snowing a lot harder out there. I don't know if the trains can still run in this weather. Whoa, 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 down, boy. That's not happening. But I will hang around a little longer at least. Just bear with me for now, okay? <sighs> I never thought I'd spend a quiet Christmas Eve with you. It feels like a dream. Well, we're both here and we're both happy, so... For now, life's pretty good. Hey, I want to stay close for a little longer. Do you mind? 